Quarterback tier list. We're here. S, A, B, and C. Drew Brees, his throwing power is not going to get it done. Um, right now, even with the defense at the speed it is, he is going to need to upgrade before you use this card. And it's kind of sad because he's one of the best quarterbacks. At, he goes for 53K. And um, that 53K you probably want to keep in your pocket. Because he's not going to get it done. But I'm sure his next upgrade he'll be usable. But like maybe day one he might have been. But at this point, it's kind of passed him up. Next up is Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers um, is going to be in the same boat pretty much. Uh, with the throwing power and the accuracies. So, yeah, I would stay away from this Philip Rivers card. It's not going to get the job done either. So, which quarterbacks are going to get the job done? I am, a lot of the quarterbacks, if you need a more in-depth answer, go to my channel and you'll see all the reviews. I have a lot of reviews up right now. And Tom Brady is also in that category. It's kind of a theme here at the beginning. His throwing power is not going to get the job done. But, if you say of all of the C tier, he is going to be the best C tier quarterback. So, unable to run, he's a statue. And the accuracies are barely breaking the 80s. So, that's also going to cost you a little bit as well. I would um, not invest in any of these quarterbacks. And I believe we're going to. A couple more quarterbacks on Thursday. I think we're, we're pretty much thirsty for him right now on the promo coming out. Teddy Bridgewater. He's also going to be in this category, but he's going to be the fastest of the category. Now, Teddy Bridgewater, day one was looking better with 85 throwing power. So this card was almost B tier, but I had to put him C tier because I really don't want to mislead someone getting this player and being disappointed. I used him and I was just disappointed with more of the accuracies. The throwing power wasn't that bad. But I'm gonna tell you his next card could go all the way to A tier because he's not too far off. So I like to see a college promo with him. Um and because he was a really good college quarterback for Louisville. And I like to see him get a car to be usable and fast enough and good enough. So, right now, um, he's kind of on a borderline. Should I buy him? The answer's no. Sam Donald is up next. His throwing power is great as well. But his deep ball is only in the 70s. And his speed is really just barely above average. Is short. And his medium... Sorry. His medium is below 80. His deep is at 80, which is just not good enough. He's going to miss balls, and you're going to be mad, and that can cost you the game. So, Sam Darnold, next card, I believe will be usable. And I'm looking forward to that, and I'm, I'll get that review out as soon as he gets the card. But this one right here, he's going for 45K. I would stay away from him. All these quarterbacks are just about the same price. Besides Brady's going a little lower in the 37. So Brady will be the cheapest card out of the C tier. And so yeah, uh, C tier, not good. Stay away from that. I will tell you that if you get the um, Roethlisberger Rivals card, that's not going to help you. That's Don't pick quarterbacks for like rewards because you're always going to want the next quarterback or a new quarterback. Don't walk in the quarterback unless you're just doing the theme team. Danny Dimes is up next. <laughs> and um, I would stay away from this card too. 79 medium and deep ball. I use this card. I like Daniel Jones in real life, but I don't like this card. He's going for 50k right now. And he's also on C tier. We're going to get to the B, A, and S tier, but it's just that these were not. Okay, here we go, B tier. Lamar Jackson. 
He's going to be the first B-tier quarterback. And I'll tell you, the speed is what's going to propel him there because he can actually change the game with 88 speed. Now, with medium and deep balls being the 70s, it's going to cost you. And you're going to hate this card if you try to throw with him. But if you run with him, he is going to make a bigger difference than the other quarterbacks. And his accuracy is right around them, but he's just way, way faster. So, should you have Lamar Jackson core elite on your team right now? Absolutely not. He is not going to get the job done either. And Russell Wilson is up next. Going for a steep 200K. He got plus ones for the team of the week. And I just don't really see that helping too much. But he was almost A tier because his throwing accuracies do meet the above 80s. There's 80, it would be 86, 85, 87, short, medium, deep. So can you use this card? Barely, 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 barely. He'll be okay. Definitely not as fast as you want to be for a Russell Wilson card. Rich Gannon's going for 100K right now. With 83 throwing power, he's going to be right above the C-tier quarterbacks. So Rich Gannon is going to be barely usable. And I don't look for him to get a card for a while, I don't think. So I wouldn't invest in him think you're going to get an upgrade anytime soon. I really doubt it. But um, his next card should be totally usable, as long as you like a pocket quarterback. For sure. I would stay away from besides that. And the first S tier quarterback is going to be Lamar Jackson. 89 speed and all the throwing accuracies 80 and above. So does he miss passes? Yes. Do I use him all the time? Yes. Uh, should he be on your team? Absolutely. Is he worth 274 coins just for this card? Yes. Is he the best quarterback in the game? Yes. Lamar Jackson should be on your team. Right now, there's not that many options. So, yes, put Lamar Jackson on your team. You will not regret it. Patrick Mahomes is A tier. His accuracies are just fine. Uh, he's not going to get the abilities to S tier quarterbacks are going to get. And he's just... Um, totally usable though um, not a, too much of an issue but when they get his accuracies up and boost him into some more abilities he's going to slide in the S tier very quickly uh, he is right on the border of S and right at the top of A he almost made it to A up next is going to be Dan Marino Dan Marino is going to be S tier Best pocket passer in the game. His abilities really set him apart. And I would use him all day if you want a pocket passer. But who's better, him or Lamar? The answer is me, Lamar. You just can't mess with the feet. That, those, his running will really open up a game and save you a game that Dan Marino can't. Roethlisberger didn't like this card. C tier. Don't get it. Um, if you're still playing that solo and you're behind, don't pick him. Unless you're in a theme team, then that's fine. Because you'll need him for the theme team. But I would not ever suggest really locking quarterbacks head for like rewards and net cards. Because you're going to want the next upgrade. Just keep that in mind. Uh, my next review will probably be Adrian Foster, I believe. Should be up next. Him or Devontae Adams. After that, if you have an idea what you want to see, let me know. Do you want a tight end tier list? I could do that. Um, I like doing tier list to really help you guys save coins. That way you don't invest in things and you can see on what level is where. But, yeah, guys, that's going to do it all for me. And my Twitch and Twitter link are down below. Follow me there. And I will see you in the next one.